In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up and use Spotify on your Fitbit Charge 4. Up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of Fitbit tracker and watch reviews as well as other tech product and review tutorials. So if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing. Today, however, we are looking at the Fitbit Charge 4 and we are connecting Spotify so that we can use the Fitbit Charge 4 as a remote for Spotify. You can't actually download music to the Charge 4. Unfortunately, they didn't give you that option, but I do want to just show you guys what it takes to get it set up and what you can do with Spotify on your Fitbit. The other thing that I want to mention right up front here is that in order to use Spotify with your Charge 4, you do need to have a Spotify premium account or the paid for account. This is not going to work with just using Spotify. If you're using the free version that's got commercial ads and things like that, you have to be paying for Spotify to have the premium account. So with that being said, in order to use Spotify with the Charge 4, I noticed that when I unboxed this, and I did that in a previous video, and set the Fitbit up immediately that first day, I didn't have the option to even connect it to my Spotify account. I did get a message in the dashboard here saying that I needed to update to the latest version, but I tried doing that manually and it wouldn't even give me the option to update. Uh, so if you're having problems and it's not giving you the option to connect it, what I did is just waited till the next day and when I woke up in the morning on my dashboard here on the Fitbit account, all of a sudden I had a message saying, hey, your Charge 4 has an update. Well, that's what I was trying to do the previous day. But then at that point, I did the update to my Charge 4 and now I notice that I've got that option to connect Spotify. So in order to connect Spotify, what I'll do then is I've gone into my Fitbit app on my phone. I'm on a Pixel 3 but this should be pretty much the same even if you're on an iPhone. You're gonna to wanna to find your profile picture and then under your account here, you're gonna look for your devices. You'll see your Charge 4 and you can go into that. This brings you to the Charge 4 dashboard and I see Spotify that's here, but if I go into this, it's not gonna really let me do anything because I haven't connected my account yet. First, what I need to do is go to Apps and this shows me all the apps that are installed on my Charge 4 and you'll see right here that I've got Spotify Connect and Control with a little gear icon and I didn't quite have all of that before I did that update. So now that I've done the latest firmware update on my Charge 4, it's giving me this gear that I can click on and I'll see here that it says log into my Spotify account and it even tells you here a Spotify premium subscription is required to use Spotify on the Fitbit. Now it doesn't actually allow you to store music on the Charge 4. You're only able to use the Charge 4 as a remote to control different songs uh, and I'll show you that. So if you're looking to actually put music on the Charge 4 and maybe go running or something without having your phone with you, you are going to have to have your phone with you when you are using the Charge 4. And in all the videos on this channel, we hide Tinker. He's our little hidden robot and he briefly pops up. If you happen to spot him popping up in this video, take note of the timestamp, the time of when you saw him in this video, and let me know that down in the comments section below. If you're the first person to spot him and leave the comment, then you'll get your name as well as your YouTube channel featured on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So let's go ahead and log in to Spotify. And when I click on log in, it's gonna take me to this screen and I'm gonna enter in my information to log into my Spotify account. It's gonna have me log into all of the legal stuff that I'm gonna hit agree at the bottom. And now my account is linked to the Charge 4. So from this point, I can go back into the dashboard that is on my Charge 4. Once I've got Spotify connected to my Charge 4, if I tap on the screen to bring up the, uh, the menus, I can swipe to the left. And you'll see right under exercise, we have Spotify. If I click on Spotify, this will take a second to load. And it actually tells me, go to the Fitbit mobile app to sync and restart Spotify on this device. So right here on the mobile app, it says sync now. I'm gonna go ahead and sync. This will take a minute. So with it synced, I'm then gonna restart my Charge 4. If I tap on the screen here, uh, and then I click this button, that's gonna take me back to the menus and I can scroll all the way to the end where it's gonna have settings. 
And then under settings, I can scroll this down until I get to about. Under about, I can click on reboot device. This will restart your device. No data will be lost. So this will take a minute here to reboot. So with the Charge 4 rebooted, I can go ahead and sync again. It was actually just giving me a little exclamation mark, but it seemed like that has gone away. So it does look to be synced up at this point. And then I can go into my Spotify app that's on the Charge 4 and it's gonna look for the device. Now from this point, it's gonna say start Spotify on another device and it will appear here. So I'm gonna go on my phone and start up Spotify. So with Spotify pulled up on my phone, I've gone into one of the playlists that I've created and we're looking at Dance 2020. And I started playing Sunflower from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack. And that is playing on my Spotify account. If I tap on the Charge 4 and I swipe over to the left, I can then go into the Spotify app. It works as a remote, and you can see that it's showing me that that song is playing. I've got the ability where I can pause it and play it right from my watch. If I tap the heart... That is going to add it to my library if I'm listening to a, a different song that wasn't on my library. Tapping it again removes it from my library. And then within the Spotify app, if I swipe to the left again, I've got controls here where I can skip to the next track. And now we've gone down to Stupid Love, Lady Gaga. So I can move forward and backwards through the different tracks by using the controls on the Charge 4. If I scroll again... I get the option here where it's showing me the music's playing from the Pixel 3. Uh, I can shuffle the songs. So I actually had it on shuffle. So when we were advancing tracks there, it was jumping all around on this playlist that I have set up. Uh, if you don't want it to shuffle, you can just turn that shuffle mode off. And then it's just going to go right down your playlist. If we continue going to the right, the first tab here in the Spotify app is going to give me links to recent songs, albums that I've been listening to. My son was listening to Crazy Frog here, but I can click into that and it's gonna take me to the Crazy Frog song. And then from this point, if I wanted to shuffle through the Crazy Frog album, I can keep advancing through the tracks and it's gonna keep bringing those up here and playing all the different hits that were part of that album or part of that playlist that they were listening to. Those are all the controls that you get for using Spotify on your Charge 4. You want to make sure that this is synced up and ready to go. You do need to have your phone with you before you go out for a run or anything like that. It's not actually going to store music onto the Charge 4 itself. So I hope this video has helped you with seeing how you can use Spotify on the Charge 4 and with any troubleshooting as far as getting it linked up. Again, you have to have your premium account on Spotify. I've also done some other videos here reviewing the Fitbit Charge 4. So if you want to take a look at the setup, how to set up notifications, how to set up some of the other cool features, be sure to check out those other Fitbit uh, Charge 4 videos. Those will be linked down in the description below. I've also reviewed other Fitbit tech, so be sure to check out those videos as well. So I'm interested to know your thoughts on using Spotify on the Charge 4. You can let me know down in the comments section below. If you have any other questions, you can also leave those there as well. I will do my best to answer them for you. And if this video helped you out, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, take a second right now and subscribe. My name is Jeff. As always, I appreciate you guys watching here on Tinker Forward. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.